Oh, welcome to View Data Africa. Now the Ministry of Diaspora has become the newest docket in Ruto's government. President William Ruto, when he signed an executive order appointing four court of appeal judges and two environment and land court judges, set out Nairobi on September 13th. Also, our president were Deputy President Regade Kashagwa and Chief Administrative Secretary in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ababu Namwamba. President William Ruto on Tuesday promised to establish the Ministry of Diaspora to access issues affecting Kenyan citizens abroad even as the government focuses to boost remittances. In his first address to the nation following his swearing in as the country's fifth president, the new head of state pointed out that his administration will ensure that the diaspora is elevated to be Kenya's 48th county. The complaint has been that the diaspora has not received the attention they deserve to correct this oversight. A pledge to elevate diaspora issues at the ministry level, said Dr. Ruto. The head of state admitted that the focus on Kenyans living and working abroad has been on remittances, while their fundamental rights as citizens have been neglected by the past administrations. To correct this, the new president said his government will seek to elevate the diaspora issues at a ministry level, as well as strengthen diaspora services in all Kenyan missions abroad. Dr. Ruto said his government will work with parliament to set up a committee that will exclusively deal with the diaspora issues. The Select Committee on Diaspora and Migrant Workers is expected to take shape in the coming days once lawmakers are placed in house team. The committee will deal with all matters relating to the protection of the rights and welfare of Kenyans in the diaspora. The 14-member team will handle all issues facing Kenyans, nationals with a dual citizenship, Kenyan migrant workers and their families abroad and Kenyans undertaking studies abroad. Dr. Ruto's administration will also work, work closely with the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IBC, to expand and enhance diaspora participation in future elections. During this one-week tour of the U.S. earlier this year, Dr. Ruto promised to introduce provisions that will take it easier for Kenyans abroad to invest in areas like housing and infrastructure without anyone taking advantage of them. As part of Kenyan Kwanzaa economic plan, you will be able to buy a house without the vagaries of your relatives taking advantage of you in as much as more organized way and in a manner cheaper for you, Dr. Ruto told Kenyans in the U.S. at a church in Maryland. We will make specific packages available for you so that you can play your role and contributions to the economy can also be meaningful. Uh, the U.S. is the biggest source of remittances to Kenya, accounting for 59% of the total sum of funds sent into the country this year. The establishment of standalone committee comes amid a jump in the numbers moving abroad in search of greener pastures and abuse cases by employers in the Middle East. A rising number of Kenyan youth are seeking jobs abroad to escape the high level of unemployment in the country. About 1.2 million Kenyan youth join the labor market every year. This is the View Data Africa. Welcome back. Oh, welcome to View Data Africa. Now the Ministry of Diaspora has become the newest docket in Ruto's government. President William Ruto, when he signed an executive order appointing four court of appeal judges and two environment and land court judges, set out Nairobi on September 13th. Also, our president were Deputy President Regade Kashagwa and Chief Administrative Secretary in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ababu Namwamba. President William Ruto on Tuesday promised to establish the Ministry of Diaspora to access issues affecting Kenyan citizens abroad even as the government focuses to boost remittances. In his first address to the nation following his swearing,